Hey guys, it's Libby. Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new. Today I'll be going, I'm going to be doing my July wrap up. I did not read that many books in July. I only read eight books in July, and that's it. I started a ninth one, but I did not finish it. So, I, the first book I finished, some of these I am blanking on the author, but that's just because I've read them so long ago, and I can't remember the author's name. But the first book I read was Shipped, <coughs> excuse me, was Shipped, and this is a adult romance following a girl and a guy who work at the same company, both going for the same position, and they are both to go on this cruise ship and then write up a proposal about it, and the best one with the proposal gets the job. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. I read that as an ebook. The second book I read was Blood Witch by Susan Dennard, and I gave that one a 5 stars. So, I enjoyed that. I can't say too much because it is the third book in the series. So, the third book was Ace of Spades. And I'm not even going to try with the author because I cannot pronounce it to save my life. I gave that a 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It was a thriller, YA thriller book and I highly enjoyed it. Stuff happened in the past at the school and they are happening in the present. We follow a guy and a girl, both African American, and they get set up their senior year and... A bunch of stuff goes down in the book so with these two characters so the fourth book I read was was a reread and that was on the fence by Casey West I really enjoyed that one I gave it a four stars my favorite book of the month that I read this month is probably going to be a court of silver flames by Sarah J Mass of course I gave that one a five out of five stars I really enjoyed it the way it set it up, it first started, I didn't care for it too much. It took me about 100 to 200 pages to really get into the book. And then once I was past that 200 page mark, stuff started to happen. The relationship between Nesta and Cassian started to take form. And I like what happened in the end of this, by the end of this. I'm not going to say it because it's definitely a spoiler. But yeah, this one's probably one of my favorites, other than A Court of Mist and Fury. So, then I read Learn My Lesson by Katie Roberts, and I gave this a 4.5 stars. This one is an adult romance novel. We are following Disney characters. We are following Meg, Hercules, and Hades. Yes, as in three. And the three of them for Meg and Hades form a bond with Hercules in this one and stuff goes from there. There are some crazy smutty scenes in this in these books and it's definitely adult. So younger viewers stay shy of this series. Um and then, of course, when I finished that one, I read then read Go the Distance by Jen Colton, I believe. I gave that a four stars. I gave Learn My Lesson 4.5 stars. And then I gave Go the Distance four stars. This one follows the aftermath of the movie Basically, after Hercules earns his position to come home to Olympus, and then Meg is standing at the bottom of the stairs, whining, waiting for something, um, and then a certain god puts her on a, a quest to retrieve 
a soul from the underworld. Of course, she has to go back there, obviously. And then, if she does that, she can become something. I've talked about this in a reading vlog, so I'm not going to say the tagline. I've said it in a reading vlog. The other book I started was Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. I'm over 200 pages into that. I'm really enjoying that one. The last book that I finished in July was Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard. This is the fourth book to the Witchland along book and I gave that one a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I can't say too much because it'll definitely spoil the whole setup, the whole build up to this point that we're at right now and I needed book 5 as soon as I finished book 4. So, and we don't have book 5 yet. But, but no, that was everything I read in the month of July. Let me know down below if you guys read any of these or what you guys read in the month of July. I would love to know. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like, comment, subscribe, stay a while. I will link my Twitter Goodreads and Instagram down below for you guys if you want to follow me on any other platforms and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.